Hey guys, it's Crumb, and welcome to your Last Man Standing minigame guide. Last Man Standing is a Hunger Games style player vs player minigame where 24 players are pitted against each other on an island with no items and very low prayer points. The players can loot items on the island and try to fight their way into being the last man standing. Players can begin the minigame by speaking to Lisa who is located east of the Clan Wars area. You can get to Clan Wars by using a Ring of Dueling. There are two different last man standing game modes. The first is competitive. In competitive mode, players are to deposit a minimum of 100k coins into the coffer to participate. The sole survivor or last man standing in competitive mode wins 1.5 mil, with second place receiving 500k, and third, fourth, and fifth place receiving free entry to their next competitive games. The second is casual. In casual mode, the player can play the minigame for free, however there isn't any rewards. Casual is a good option if you want some risk-free fun or are new to the minigame. The current official worlds for Last Man Standing are 317, 321, and even 326 for free-to-play players. After getting in a game, you are sent to the island. Your combat stats are then boosted to 99, except for your defense which is boosted or reduced to 70. Your prayer points will also be drained to 10. Spells and prayers can be used by players without any of the quest requirements within the minigame. Players start off with a spear, and in order to get better gear they must loot chests, drawers, cupboards, and other objects found on the island to obtain combat equipment like scimitars, armors, runes, arrows, prayer potions, monkfish, sharks, and so on. Upon killing another player, you get a bloody key which can be used to reloot chests that have already been looted, and in addition, using the bloody key will fully restore a player's hit points. If you have extra equipment, you can sell it to a vending shrine, which are found throughout the island, for survival tokens, which can then be exchanged for various equipments. 60 seconds after the game has started, there will be a broadcast warning the player of incoming fog. The game will mark a safe spot on the map with a flashing arrow. Five minutes later, fog will start to fill everywhere except the safe spot. If one does not make it to the safe spot in time, the fog will deal rapid damage beginning at approximately 1 damage per tick, but steadily increasing to 10 damage per tick. Throughout the game, there will be magical loot crate spawns. A broadcast will appear notifying all remaining players of its location on the map. As of this video, these crates don't differ much from normal loot crates, however, in the future they may be buffed, and as is, they can offer a nice refill if you're low on supplies. And that's all you need to know to play Last Man Standing. Go ahead, hop over to World 317, and join up a casual game and get right into the action. Be sure to leave your comments below on your opinions on the Last Man Standing minigame. I personally find it quite fun and I'm glad it's in the game. Until next time guys, love peace and chicken grease.